I know how that goes. Okay, I've started the recording, so. Um, first item, um, has everybody seen the, 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 the pointer to the etherpad in case they want to get on and, and edit? Um, does anybody have any changes they want to make to the conflict list for Singapore? To me, that looks good. Um, one observation I have is that uh, the next time you use this list and, and maybe delete one of the chair conflicts, uh, you will find out, oh, most of them actually are also technology overlaps. Uh, so maybe it's a good thing to keep them in both. I don't know. So the logic for the chair conflicts is the chair just can't be in both places, but the technology conflict, you know, would be unfortunate, but not fatal for the working right. groups. Yeah, but if you have something like, like COSI, um, that's both. Sure. Well, maybe with the exception of lamps, I, I don't know whether we have a technology or whatever with lamps. No, there's no technology overlap with lamps. There's okay. just a clear overlap. Okay. Okay. So, Seabor array tag. Yeah, let me, let me quickly report that I went through the reviews that I have available, obviously with a telechat only coming up next week. week. Not all uh, reviews are available, but I have addressed the ones we have. Uh, so I will continue doing this as yeah. reviews uh, become available, but I haven't resubmitted a new version because that, that doesn't make sense in the middle of receiving the review. So the changes are in, on GitHub only at the moment. Right, and, and you sent the pointer on that to the list uh, when you've yes. done the reviews. Um, so we're basically missing a sector review and an IoT directorate review. Yes, are we missing the sector one? Um, she doesn't have it listed as being there. Oh, is that the one Stephen Kent did? I'm really confused because I'm, I'm working on too many documents at the same time at the moment. <laughs> no, I don't have Stephen Kent was uh, no, we've got a sector review on it. So all we're missing is the IoT directorate review. We have a sector review of SIBO sequence. I'm not sure about... No, we have a sector review of type arrays. Oh, we do. Okay, good. So yeah, the only one that the, the only one that the out according to the data tracker is the IoT is the IoT directory one. So it just hangs. Um, okay, and I think everything has been cleanly addressed on that one, so there's no problems. Okay, go down to the Seabor sequence status. Um, Alexi is still missing, or Iana is still does not have a DB for the content form, for the core content format. Yeah, I sent, a, I sent a, a quick uh, observation on this, which is that, that Klaus is on vacation and, and probably off the internet, um, essentially. Um, so we can wait for Klaus or we can go to one of the secondaries. I think it would probably make sense since it was a, I don't know exactly when Klaus is getting back to either okay. get Jaime or Alexander to do the review. Probably. Um, what's the best way? What's the best way to go about that? Should I just send mail, or do you want to? Well, I already did. 
I'll to ask Jaime to do, Jaime Alexander to do it. Yeah, or, or Alex, but I think Alex has has a similar problem at the moment. Uh, so maybe Jaime is the best first to ask. Yeah. So the 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 other reviews are in the media type, and so on. Well, those don't ever come in. It, it, okay. it, those are either you get a bad answer or you get no answer. Okay. I spelled Jaime wrong. It's not easy. I don't know how to spell Jaime's name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and and you've addressed all of the all of the comments. Addressed all of the comments except for one that I missed because it, it was put in in a weird way. Um, Alexei asked uh, whether we want to have a file extension or not. So I brought this up on the list uh, a couple of hours ago. Um, I tend to agree with Paul. Me too. Okay, we have consensus. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that because that that Jim. So. <laughs> That's my call. <laughs> um, I mean, at this point, I don't see any. any kind of... I don't see any particular need to see one. So why don't you go ahead and resubmit? And okay. We'll just and I'll and I'll send a note to that effect. The mailing list. And then I think that draft will be able to go to the RC editor. Yeah, I think it's approved. It is uh, approved. So, Just waiting uh, for the write-up. Right, and and Alexia, of course, has to check whether the the comments are really addressed. Right. Okay. Seabor specification. No, I did essentially no work since the last interim, and I'm not even prepared. Uh, so I'm not sure what we want to discuss there today. Um, I don't think any new issues have come up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I did go through the last draft he posted, and I didn't see any problems in the changes. But I'm still basically waiting until everything's finished to do a heavy review. Right. There are still a few editorial surgeries uh, coming up, and I, I really want to do them next so we can do the 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 content uh stuff on on the cleaned editorially cleaned up uh version uh so that that's why i have been a little bit reluctant in in uh, addressing the the rest of the issues um but of course if if we get some some uh, useful text on something we can put that in Right. Um, do you think you're still on schedule to have a version posted by 10, 20, by, by the 23rd of next month that should be I ready so. for working yes. the first call? Okay. Yes. So when do you think you're going to have your editorial changes done? Um, probably by the end of the next weekend, so by the 6th. Okay. Does that include uh, posting uh, a draft or just in the, in the GitHub? I think we should post this as a draft because uh, it makes it easier to to see the 
the actual technical changes we are doing next relative to that editorial update. So I, I think it, it's best to run this in a TikTok kind of way where, where you um, do some technical changes and then do some editorial changes and then do some technical changes again. Otherwise, things are hard to find. If you do a global substitute of a term or something, the diff gets pretty big. Yeah, no, I tend to agree with that. I, I, that would be my preference as well. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say on this? Anyone else? Anyone else wants to say? No. <laughs> um, any other business? Anyone have anything else that this is related to the working group they want to talk about? Um, I got one request, and Jim, I think you have seen that too, uh, from the, the mobile driving license uh, people about having a date tag, not a date time tag that, that we have, but a date tag. So this would be a way to use RFC 3239 um, for, for dates uh, only. And I think we should do that. Uh, but uh, again, I haven't been very productive the last couple of days, but I, I want to get to this uh, very soon. Um, do you think that's going to need to be an actual document um, in the working group, or can we just, or are we just going to register it? Um, I think we can uh, just go ahead registering it. Uh, I think the, the, the question is, do we at some point maybe consolidate all these small documents like the the um we already have one document on time uh which uh, i think would be good to publish at some point but maybe after some some more thinking about what what is actually needed beyond what we have today and uh, so i think there there probably should be a document like another set of tags for for CBO, and this could include this document. But for now, I would just formulate this as an internet draft. Um, so we, we have a, a reference that can be called a stable reference, even if it might expire at some point. And uh, then at some point, merge this into the new tags document. Okay. Um... Looking at it, as near as I can tell, all they needed was the text version. They didn't need a, a Unix time version of that string. No, and th that actually would be counterproductive uh, be because um, th th this is really about a date as perceived by humans as, as opposed to a date that, that is... Uh, anchored in, in uh, uh, exact time scales. So I, I have this, uh, uh, I was born at, at 1.05 in the morning. And uh, I mean, if I had been born five minutes earlier and, and uh, we would have had summertime or not summertime, I would have, uh, have had my birthday in different time zones. Uh, in different days and different time zones. So I'm, I'm a bit aware of this problem that uh, dates really are subjective. And th this is what this tag would be about. Yeah, that's yeah. actually one of the things I've always hated about Outlook calendar things is I can't say that, th that this occurred on this date. <laughs> it has to be a specific time and date, which is just frustrating. Yeah, it, my, 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 my nephew's birthday is on a date. It doesn't matter what time zone I'm in. Yeah, right. But Outlook is for meetings, not for birthdays. And for meetings, it's actually quite important to <laughs> pin this to, to a time as well. The more annoying part is you can't say that this meeting is in this time zone. Yeah, which is also interesting because if I want to, yes, to you can. 
Scheduled. You know, you can say, I can say that scheduled at this time in this time zone, but to say the meeting occurs in this place means when I get on that day, show me the day in that time zone because that's where I'll be. Ah, yes. Right? I don't care next week about seeing it in Ottawa. I just want to see it in Berlin. Right? I can't schedule the, the 70th uh, birthday of my wife because uh, I don't know whether Germany will have uh, uh, daylight saving time uh, or not. So I, I have no way to put that into a calendar at this point in time. I can put it in the birthday, but not, not a birthday event. <laughs> Can't say we will meet at 10 o'clock uh, at the, uh, in Cologne because I don't know when 10 o'clock will be in Cologne at this point in time. That, that's the uh, fun part of uh, handling several time. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, there, there are a few other requests. Um, I probably should just mention. There is a proposal for an omitted tag. So you could put a tag on some data to say um, these data are, have actually not been provided. So what you are seeing here is some stand in. Um, so we already have undefined, but that has slightly different semantics. And uh, the, the proposer is proposing to have an omitted tag that can be put on undefined to say this is really undefined because it was omitted. So absent. Absent. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, absent would be far better than omitted, which doesn't carry the same context. Okay. That, that's useful input. Okay, any other ones that are running around? Um, not that I remember right now. Oh, th there is this geographical tag thing. Oh, um, th th there appears to be a registry somewhere that assigns numbers to uh, geographical datums. A datum is, is a a way to map coordinates on, on the surface of the Earth. And uh, th this is a big world on its own. It's really difficult to describe what they are doing there. Yeah? Uh, but they probably need some some SIBA uh, support, and I'm, I'm working with them as well. OK. OK. Anything else anybody wants to bring up? Okay. See you guys in two weeks then. See you then. Bye. Bye-bye.